You watch anything new this week, Mars? Any any new movies, TV shows? Nah, last movie I watched was Oppenheimer. Ooh. I don't think you talked about that, my guy. Oppenheimer is a fucking... Fucking peak. Christopher Nolan is bike. Fucking peak. Fucking peak. That movie had me in here yelling, crying, all types of shit, man. I was... I went through the motions watching... Did you know movie. anything about Oppenheimer before that? All I know was he blew up Japan. <laughs> So you just know, but did you know about like him making the atomic bomb and all that? Or you... yeah, yeah, I knew that, 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 I knew that. That movie was insane, bro. Like, drugs? Did you see that shit? No, I didn't. Killian Murphy, get that. Give him. He got. He got awards already. Get that nigga more awards, bro. Give him yeah, more he's, awards. He's peak, man. He's peak he, actor. He even looks like Oppenheimer, like. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a I'm a history nigga. Like shout out to Oppenheimer from being from New York. I don't even know if I should shout that out, but obviously New York is the New York is the you know what I mean we we the beginning of everything. Culture, history, we them niggas. Fuck it, I'm going on a legend saying that shit. Oppenheimer. Oh my god, the movie man like. I think the storytelling was the best part about the movie. Fuck what happened. Because, you know, they didn't show any of, like, the destruction and any of that stuff. They they kind of did. What did you think? Yo, uh, Mars, what did you think about the storytelling? Because I didn't know the actual story. I'm, a, story I'm a history he, nigga. That's what made, made me involved so much. It was the storytelling. It was the way he chose to tell the story, going back and forth from the from the hearing to actual the actual story itself. Like, it was just perfectly fucking crafted, bro. Like... It was amazing, bro. Like that movie is very that's one of his best films to me, honestly. Like you don't I you, lie, you yes, don't, I agree. A lot of a lot of his movies you have to watch more than once to actually get it, but that movie you got it right then and there. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing you have to watch his movies over. His his movies are usually a mind fuck. Yeah. So, you know, you have to go back and just, you know, deconstruct the film. Mm -hmm. But this one was just straight to the point and it was just very, very, very fucking just phenomenal, bro. It was very three, phenomenal. Three hours. I watched that shit maybe three times so far. So that's nine hours. Did you watch it three times? I think I watched it three times already. Um, I would say for sure, I agree. I agree with everything you said. It was a mind fuck, but it was very straight to the point. I think they did a really good job, uh, a really good job. And showing the historical aspect of that. And you know I me, mean? they had Einstein in that shit. They, Einstein they, they, told they that had... nigga to tell them to suck your dick. <laughs> Einstein was like, yo, my nigga, I ain't fucking with none of this shit. No. If you're going to do it, cool. But don't bring me into this shit at all. You're going to fuck work. the world up. Yep. And what happened? He fucked the world up. Yep. It's just so much history. Because it... you got to think. Think I look at it like this, bro. Like so, this was in during the World War Two times, the fifties. Obviously, we were nowhere near that. Even a thought of being born. Some people's parents weren't born. My my parents were born in like the mid late fifties, which is kind of crazy just to say. Think about fast forwarding to where time was then to now, and watching this on film. This creation of what he did changed the world. They mentioned it in the movie, but I don't think we could really grasp that context of creating a thing that changes the entire world. No matter where the fuck you're from, imagine they were going against like Russia, trying to be the first person to make this creation. They changed the fucking world with this one destructive ass thing. But the movie made it, it, they showcase it in a way where you don't think about it in that destructive way until it happened. You know what I mean? You were thinking about it like, oh, yeah, he has a family. He's a scientist. He needs other scientists to help him. You, as us, as creatives, you know what I mean? We doing everything. We got Crack in the 80s going. We got Crack in the 80s podcast. Y'all check that shit out. We creating merch. We look at it as just like um, an idea from our brains. 
that's going to help people because they're going to be fly. We we making this merch and shit so niggas could be fly to help us make the podcast bigger, hit other fucking fan bases, other demographics, other, you know what I'm saying? Like other markets. Imagine you doing the same thing, but it's for fucking war. Huh. And to, the same. To, to end niggas' lives in a different part of the world that you never met. That you'll never go to either. Never go to. Don't care to go to. You speak a different language. Crazy, bro. And then it's, it's moments in the movie where, you know what I mean? Shout out to Killian Murphy. He played that shit the fuck. He, he smoked that shit. Yeah, he definitely did smoke that shit, bro. He smoked he, it. Him and him and Emily Blunt. Him and Emily Blunt did a good job, bro. Him and Emily Blunt. Shout out to motherfucking um what's my man that played Iron Man? I can't remember the nigga name. Robert Downey Jr. Downey Jr. Yeah, Downey Jr. He, he, he did he did he did he did a good job. Yeah, he smoked it. Josh is his name Josh Keaton? What's the nigga name from um from um the faculty? Josh Peck. Josh Peck, nigga from Drake and Josh? No. What's this no. nigga name? What did he play in the movie? He was the teacher Josh, in the next room. Josh yeah. Harnett? Oh, yeah, yeah. Josh Harnett. Josh Harnett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Not from the fact. I ain't seen that nigga since the I ain't seen that nigga since the fact. He was in Pearl Harbor. He was in Pearl Harbor and Black Hawk Down. Black Hawk I, I ain't seen that nigga act Black since Hawk the down. faculty. All right. Faculty, 30 days a night. Yeah, he it ain't forty days. Forty, 40 days, days. forty nine. That nigga. He got um. A legend. That's his. This is his most recent shit. It, everything else is two thousand seven, one, six, and then two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga was around since like oh, wasn't he in O? With, with uh... shout out to Josh Peck. Shout out to Josh Peck. You know what I mean? Drake and Josh to Oppenheimer. Yeah, he's one of the scientists. He one of the scientists. Man, that movie. It's so good on so many fucking levels, bro. No, his name is Josh. Yeah, yeah Josh Arnett. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah this right. nigga. This nigga right here. Yeah. The faculty. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Gary Oman was the president. Um, they create, bro. They created a whole new neighborhood just to create a bomb. Think about. Yeah, think about. I just want to, and shout out to Biden. Shout out to you, man. And shout out whoever gonna be our next president. We're not going that far, but just think about what they did to make this happen. They created a whole new neighborhood in the middle of nowhere. They bought people's families. Like, the things that can be pulled off in this country, and we we know it can happen. But to see it in real time... And my, mind you, I'm pretty sure niggas that were living back then had these suspicions or knew... Because this wasn't publicized on the news. I'm pretty sure this didn't get publicized till after the fact. Them niggas seen the news reports about the bomb exploding. Nothing about the bomb being created. Right. Niggas didn't know who the fuck Oppenheimer, the scientist behind this shit, Albert Einstein being involved, uh, allegedly, and... It's, it's just fucking wild, bro. So, this is where conspiracy theory, the words, became. Like, were created. Conspiracy theory, the word was created to take you off of some, take you off of the scent or the trail of something that's actually going on. You got character, you got characterized as that shit to make it seem like you were fucking crazy. But this shit is really going on, bro. Like, it's crazy, man. Like, damn. Really good movie, though. Drugs, you should check it out, my guy. Peacock, Peepaws. I ain't gonna lie, me and my shorty been watching Peacock a lot recently. I ain't gonna front Mars. This shit is kind of peak. <laughs> hey, peak. Told you it's the best app right now, my nigga. The cock. That's what I call it. Um, Any niggas don't watch the cock? Uh, <laughs> oh, now nah, nigga, now nah, Mars don't want to fuck with Peacock. I nah, I, f- I fuck with Peacock. I love that. I love that app. So you love the cock? <laughs> I like the I like, I like the application, man. Yeah. What's the name of it? That's a good way. Peacock. 
Yeah. So a shorter form Yo, of name. Yo, oh, man, you said the name, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shit. That's the shit they try to do when you. They trying to throw you in a bank. Niggas, niggas got you in the target. Yeah, no, mode. I'm <laughs> Nigga asked you the same said, shit there, three times. Said the name. Y'all said it, gang. Y'all did. <laughs> nigga hemming you up, nigga. Nigga, who the fuck shot him? Yeah, this nigga got me crying. <laughs> 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 nigga said he fucking said it, nigga. <laughs> all right, all right. You said you fuck with Peacock. I fuck. With, I, I, I get. It, I get. It. I fuck with that app too. Really I fuck could, with the application. Yeah. The application, yeah, yeah, man. I get it. I get it. I get it, brother. My brother man. I get it, brother man. Stand clear of the closing door.